Number five. Compared with an electron for which n is equal to 2, an electron for which n is equal to 4 has more spin, particle nature, energy, or wave nature. Now, we went over this fairly briefly. We, didn't, we definitely didn't do it justice, but really to do this justice, we'd have to bring in many different subjects, you know, math, physics, and even philosophy, really, uh, to cover the idea of electrons having both a particle nature and wave nature. Uh, but the conclusion that we reach is that electrons do, in fact, operate as particles, and they operate as waves. They are one and the other uh, at the same time. That's not contradictory, because remember, in order to be a contradiction, something has to be both true and not true in the same sense and in the same time. Okay, So for the particle nature of uh, an electron and the wave nature of an electron, they are true in different ways, but at the same time. So it's just it's more paradoxical, not contradictory. And there's a huge difference. All the difference in the world lies in that simple difference, simple simple contrast. But we can't say that you either have more wave nature or less wave nature, more particle nature or less particle nature uh, about electrons. They have it. Okay, you can calculate, you can determine the properties of an electron that make it a particle, and you can calculate uh, the properties of uh, uh, an electron that make it a wave. For example, particles have mass. You can calculate the mass of an electron. We've even listed that mass before in this course. You can calculate the wave nature, the uh, properties uh, that make an electron a wave. And uh, waves here I have wavelength and frequency. We've looked at... Uh, this equation before, energy is equal to Planck's constant times uh, times uh, frequency. Okay, that's not it's not a V, it's not velocity. It's Greek letter nu, it's frequency. And this holds true for an electron. Okay, this holds true for an electron. So we can calculate the frequency of an electron. Well, frequency is a wave characteristic. Well, and uh, we haven't done this in this course, uh, but if you know the frequency of a wave, you can calculate the wavelength of a wave. And so we can actually calculate, once we have the energy, we can calculate the frequency of an electron, and then we can go calculate the wavelength of an electron. So all that to say, electrons are both particles and waves at the same time, to the same extent. And so as we increase in the principal quantum number, it's not as though we're getting more or less particle nature, more or less wave nature. That's how we know that B and D are not good options. And, and so we're left with, uh, are we increasing in spin or are we increasing in energy? Now I'm hoping that you remember spin here is one of the quantum numbers, okay? The spin quantum number. But here's the thing. The spin quantum number has two possible values, uh, a plus half and a negative half, aka up spin, aka down spin, okay? You have one or the other. You don't have more or less. Okay, You have one or the other. You don't have more or less. And so simply by deduction, we know that the correct answer is going to be C. Okay, Energy. But let's look at why we know this is true, not just that we know the other three options are incorrect. Okay, N represents the principal quantum number. The quantum, uh, principal quantum number represents the, in the main energy level at which an electron fills. Okay, So when N is equal to 2, it is at a lower energy level than when N is equal to 4. A lower energy level than N is equal to 4. Uh, N is equal to 4 is a higher energy level than N is equal to 2. And so just like the language implies, being at a higher energy level means that you have more energy. So when you compare an electron at n equals 4 to an electron at n equals 2, yes, the electron at n equals 4 is going to have more energy. It's at a higher energy level.